<laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I'm Alley Cat. You guys know that I love horror movies like slashers, the paranormal, everything crazy, okay? Because I like how it keeps you on the edge of your seat and how you're like scared the whole time and then after the movie you're still scared. I don't know, I just like being scared. But there are five movies that I have, you know, wrote down and everything. Five movies that you should never, ever, ever see. And by never, ever see, I mean like see them once but like then be scarred for life. These are the top five movies that are frightening that have you disturbed afterwards and have you just, I don't even know. So the first movie is called Tusk. So looking at the DVD cover, I mean you see a guy with tusks like a walrus. And you would maybe think um, maybe he's obsessed with walruses and obsessed with killing walruses. I don't know. Something weird. But no. No, 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 no. This is a spoiler alert. So if you want to see these movies, don't watch this video. But anyways, this movie is about a guy who wants to turn this guy into a walrus. Excuse me? Like, throughout the movie, he, I'm not gonna tell you the whole thing, but he's like preparing this guy to turn him into a walrus. He like kidnapped him and eventually turns him into an actual walrus. Okay, I'm not gonna show you how it looks. If you ever decide to watch it, I promise you, you'll be scarred for life at the way the walrus looks and everything about it, okay? I just can't, after I saw that, I promise you it never left my mind. I think about it, like I don't think about it often, but when I do, I know exactly how the walrus looks because it's just so scary and it's just so ugly and disturbing, okay? I'm telling you, this is one of the most disturbing movies of the year. Next movie is called <laughs> Human Centipede. Okay, listen, I know a lot of you have already seen this movie probably, but for those who haven't, this movie is about a crazy scientist guy, of course, who decides he wants to make people into a human centipede, just like Tusk. He wants to turn people into what they are not, which does not make sense. It's so disturbing. He wants to take these people and attach them from butt to mouth, okay? This is a butt, this is the mouth and you will become a centipede. So if he attaches three people, front person, the person's attached to their butt, and the person in the back is attached to that person's butt, they become one centipede. What? That is disturbing and it scares me that people would actually think about that for a movie plot. So yeah, that one will definitely leave you disturbed as well. The next movie is called The Taking of Deborah Logan. Okay, so it looks like this. You already know Deborah Logan looked like she owns some other shit. But anyways, this is more of a paranormal type movie, not so much of a grotesque, nasty. This movie is about a lady and she was forgetting things and stuff like that and they thought, oh yeah, that's just the disease that she had. But no, she had a demon inside of her who I guess made, who I guess wanted her to become a snake. I don't really know. You have to see the movie, actually don't see it. But at the end of this movie, the last, what, 15, 20 minutes of this movie, the most disturbing thing I have ever seen. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you what happens, but it's disgusting and I cannot believe. Sorry, I had to have like five seconds of silence because I cannot believe what happens at the end of this movie. The fourth movie that you should never see is called Megan is missing. This movie is scary because it's about kidnapping and that can happen in real life. So that's freaky. This girl is on like dating websites, I think, or some kind of website. And she meets this guy and like they start talking and then he wants her to meet up at this place. She tells her friend, her friend's like, no, Megan, no, you should not meet up with this guy. You don't know him, whatever. She ends up meeting with him because that's what the girls do in scary movies. And she gets abducted. Then later, we're trying to figure out where she is at, where Megan is at. And her friend gets abducted too. And it's all oh, just, it's too real. It's too real. That's why it scares me. At the end, like the last five minutes of the movie is really, really scary. Just like the other movie I talked about. But something happens, I'm not going to tell you. But it's really scary. And the last scary movie that you should never, ever see. But if you see it, see it once. And then be scarred for life. It's Contracted. She looks like she got contracted with some nasty ass disease. This movie is crazy because, so we got this girl, she's really stubborn, she doesn't listen to her mom, whatever. She gets like sexually abused or whatever by this guy who's really been um, messing with dead bodies, if you know what I mean, it's gross. But he sexually abuses her, which causes her to have some type of disease that ruins her skin, her eyes, her face. It's just gory and disgusting and it'll leave you like, I need to take 
some kind of a shower afterwards because it's like, it's really gross. Blood, her eye, okay, I'm gonna tell you this. Spoiler alert, sorry everyone, but eventually her eye gets like completely green and I'm like, I don't, is that mucus? I don't, I don't know. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, put a thumbs up. If you did not, don't be putting no thumbs down on my videos. And if you're cool, go like me on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash alleycat, where I upload behind the scenes giveaways and other cool things. Go check it out. And go check out my Snapchat, where I do a lot of cool things, like behind the scenes as well, and hikes and other cool random things that happen in my life that I cannot put here. So have a great day in the name of the Lord, and may God bless your every step. And now it's time for Kitten of the Week. Who is Kitten of the Week this week? Let's find out. Snap, 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 snap. This week's Kitten of the Week is No Pressures Boca, AKA Deanna. Hello, I will be in your DMs. And if you wanna be Kitten of the Week next week, here's a link below to find out how. And you go walk into the hell waiting room. Hi.